Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon card opening video. And today we have something that I am super excited for and I know you guys have been itching for these as well. It is more Value Village Pokemon cards. And as you can see, we have base set again and apparently some Yu-Gi-Oh in this pack. But anywho, we have lots and lots of packs of base set cards. We have eight total that have either base set or a few Team Rocket, some jungle, energies, tons of stuff. I know that I am excited for this. I hope you guys are as well, because these never fail to disappoint when it comes to thrift store base set Pokemon cards. Uh, if you haven't yet, you can take a look at some of my older videos up there of other base set Pokemon card openings. We do a ton of these. However, this is the last batch that I have of base set cards that I can find so far. I do always keep my eyes open for them in thrift stores. You guys don't need to worry about that. But this is the last of them. We have eight packs to go through. And we are going to start, I think, with the energy ones. So I'm going to move everything off to the side so we have nothing to distract us. We're going to dig into the ones with the energies on them first. Now, I can't guarantee that there's going to be anything in these other than energies because I have found that with thrift store cards they tend to pack the same type of card in the same um, pack and it tends to be a ton of trainers or a ton of energy so oh and see see I told you guys that's a base set two energy card I told you guys they generally pack oh they tricked us with a whole bunch of energies but we have a machop two machops three machops four machop a Kabuto from Fossil, a Diglett from Team Rocket, another Diglett from Base Set, another Machop, a Geodude. Ah, so much spinning! I haven't done spinning in forever with you guys. A Swinub, another spin, a Dratini, and a, ooh, very nice, Dark Dragon Air. Actually, that's in fairly good condition. So, Nothing interesting too much in that first pack, but base set cards are always nice to see in these ugh, pack openings. Now, how many energies do you guys think we're going to get in this pack? I say 10. Let me know down in the comment section below how many energies you think we're going to get in this pack. One. Oops. One so far. Looks like my guess is going to be a little bit off. Oh, a first edition Jigglypuff in... Decent condition. A Meowth from Team Rocket. We have a little Snubble. Another Rhea, de de, a Team Rocket Meowth. A Dodrio. A Porygon from Base Set. Ooh, first edition Tauros. I don't have a ton of first editions in my collection, so this is kind of neat. We have another Snubble. Oh boy, guys. Spinning, spinning. Sorry about that. I had uh, somebody at the door. Anyways, to continue with the opening, we have a Farfetch'd. Ooh, a Lieutenant Surge's Spiro, which I don't have yet. <gasps> Yay, we got an Eevee from Rocket. I actually have one of these, but that is going with the collection. A Tauros, really faded up there too. Hup. Another Farfetch'd. A third Snubble. How many Snubbles can we get? I should have guessed that instead of freaking Energies, because we got one in this. Lick a Tongue, a Dark Eradicate. A beat up looking Meowth card and a Zubat from Team Rocket. So, only one card so far of note on the Team Rocket um, little trend we're going with. I'm gonna oh, actually open up this one here, which has a Team Rocket Ratata on the front of it to go with that Raticate we just opened. If I can get the dang bags open. I should almost open these ahead of time and just have a pile of the cards. But that wouldn't be as fun now, would it? We have the Rattata. Oh. Wow. A oh, this might be a fake. This, I was excited there for a second. And this yeah, this is a fake. So if we look at it, first of all, it's super thin. It says it's a first edition from Fossil Magneton. But there's something about the ink on it. Oh yeah. See? Fake card. Fake card alert. Fake card alert. Ah. Alright. On to energies. I'm not bothering to flip this around, even though I probably should. That's what, five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six energies in this pack. We have a Gloom, a Butterfree, Zubat, 
a sand shrew. Sand shrew again. Another energy. Another energy. Another energy. Oh my goodness. It's an energy party. Energies, energies, and that one we should have guessed energies in. So how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Holy crud, that's a lot of energies. Hey, I've got an idea. How many energies do you guys think we're going to get out of the rest of these packs? Let me know and we'll count them up at the end. Okay, on to the next one with a Ponyta. Um, I also haven't been keeping an eye open for any Shadowless cards. I haven't seen any, but who knows what we're going to get or if we'll get any Shadowless in this. So we have a Ponyta from base, a Magmar. A muck, which is our first actual rare, because that does not look like a fake card to me, but it is very well played and very old. We have another EV from Rocket. A fossil slowpoke. I was just getting excited, but it's a fake again! Oh my goodness, almost all of the cool cards in this are fakes. This one here is a real one. Slow bro. Slowpoke. Another energy. Another energy. Oh my goodness, and we've got the energy pack again. It is in fire. Ooh, and just as I was saying, I haven't seen any Shadowless cards. We get one. A Charmander Shadowless in pretty poor condition, but still Shadowless card. Ooh, a Dark Charmeleon. Does that mean we might get a... Nope. No Charizard. A Rapidash. Another Ponyta. And another Butterfree card. So, we're moving along with our packs here. On to the next one. We're going to open up this one with Sandshrew on it. Ooh. In to it we go. Um, this is going to be coming out roughly around Crimson Invasion. I am planning on opening up some of those very, very soon, as soon as I can get my paws on them. Might have to order them off online, but we'll see. So we start off with a Shadowless Sandshrew, actually. So that's our second Shadowless that I've been able to find. We have a Spearow. A Miracle Berry, which almost looks fake, but I don't think so. Nope, that's real. Oh gosh, and we flip again. It's a Switch Trainer. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, we're going to stop and take a look at these guys. We have Game Tip Cards. A Pikachu. A Psyduck. A Meowth. A Growlithe. A Grimer. And a Cubone. I haven't seen these for a very long time. Cool, cool, from 1999 by Kellogg Canada, Inc. You can find Cubone inside Pokemon Tower in Lavender Town in all Game Boy versions, but they also appear in the Safari Zone in Pokemon Yellow. So it gives you little tips on where to find them in the card game, or in the, the actual games, which is really cool. Now on to the rest of the pack. We have Nidoran, another Nidoran, a first edition Execute that is actually a first edition real card. That's kind of cool. Female Nidoran. Oh my goodness. Ah, another fake card, and this one is a wheezing. Dun dun dun, that's three fakes. How many more are we going to get? Zubat, a coughing, Nidoran Mail. Flip it again, in a Grimer, a Bell Sprout. Another flip, Goldeen, and a. Oh, we got two more. Team Rocket, Squirtle, and a Tentacool. Lots and lots of commons in these. A few uncommons. And the only rare we've gotten is that muck. No hollows. Oh. Except maybe here because I just spoiled that, but that's okay. We'll go through these anyways. Mankey. Another Mankey. And it ran mail. A Metapod. E. A whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We'll save that one for last. Ooh. If anybody knows Yu-Gi-Oh cards, this is these are kind of cool. I don't know them very much. I only collect Yu-Gi-Oh! for the dragons, but this is holographic and everything, which is kind of cool. We're just going to take a quick peek through these. There's a lot of holographics in this, so huh? I'll add these to my, my collection. We'll see if there's anything that I recognize so far enough. Bottomless trap hole. Ah, penguin soldier! Hmm. These are different for sure. Another holographic. Ooh, pretty. Aegis of the Ocean Dragon Lord. That I'll add to my collection of dragon pictures on cards. Ooh. Call of the Atlanteans. That's a pretty neat looking card. And that one. Hooray, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Not what we were expecting out of this pack for sure. Now, I'm going to flip this over because I've already 
peeked at it and I'm pretty sure I gave you guys a sneak peek but it is a hollow card and it is Zapdos. I want to see the condition of the hollow pattern on it. Does not look like there's many scratches. There are scratches on it but that is a freaking awesome card to pull out of these packs. Definitely worth more than five bucks I'm pretty sure. So he will go to the side. So, one hollow, and still two more packs. Oh my goodness, we're down to the last two of these Value Village packs, guys. We had eight to open, and really, we've only got one hollow. Let go. Never mind. We only have one hollow to show for it so far. Still, some pretty cool cards. Let me know what your favorite out of all the base set, or older sets, I should say, cards are out of the ones that we've opened up here. Execute. Oh, that's such a cute little artwork with Spinnerack. Oh my goodness, adorable. Paris. Spinning around and around and around. Ekans. Weedle. First edition Paris. That's another first edition that's actually real and not a fake. A Tangela. Spin it again. Oh, look at that Paris. It looks so cute. A first edition Nidoran female. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so sorry if you're getting dizzy. A Venonat. A torn up Ivysaur. Oh, look! A really warped and gross hollow Hitmonchan. So that's our second. This looks like it's been like heated up or something. I have never seen a card in that condition. Oh my god, it's even been taped and everything. What did they do to it? It's like it's been through the wash. It's splitting. What the heck is with that? Oh my goodness, somebody did not take care of their cards. Bayleaf. That was that was definitely interesting, guys. A gambler trainer. Quillfish, another gambler trainer, a Pokedex, a balloonberry, and a radicate. Well, I think out of all the packs, that one's the most interesting thus far. With uh that poor Hitmonchan card. I mean, come on. Hitmonchan's not one of my favorites for sure, but how dare you treat your card like that? Poor card. <laughs> All right, last pack, Arcanine. A first edition jungle Eevee. Hooray, more Eevees for the pile. A Spiro. Another energy. Oh god, we've hit the energies. Nope, just a couple. Krabby. Hoop. Ponyta. Vulpix. An unknown F. An unknown B. Oh, that's such a cute picture. Horsey. Oh, another one. A first edition dugong. I think this is a fake. I think, I think, I think, I think. Looks fake. This one looks, yeah, it is. You, you, never mind. It's definitely a fake. Fake cards. Voltorb. An energy. A shuckle. We've got three cards left. A Mankey, and our last card in this is a Kabuto. All right, guys, I'm gonna gather up all of the energy cards, so give me a minute, because I piled them into a pile to begin with. We are going to see how many energies we got in this. And I will do a recap on the better cards and the fun cards. All right, energies are piled. What do you think we got for energies? There's a big stack here, just from looking at it. So I'll give you guys another moment to, to guess. I'm gonna say we got at least 35 energies. I'm gonna say 37 on the nose. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 20, uh -huh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I would have got it right if I had gone with my original guess of 35, guys. We got 35 energies, and that is due to the fact that... These two were stuck together. Anyways, guys, did you guess correctly on that? 35 energies out of those eight packs. That is a ton of those. 
All right, on to some other stuff. We got four fake cards, a Dugong, a Weezing, a Slowbro, and a Magneton, all first edition. I feel sorry for the kid that was fooled on that. We got three Eevee cards, a first edition Jungle Eevee, and two Team Rocket Eevees. Super cute, gonna add those to my collection in the back. Oops, give me a second, drop something. Come back, Sanji, no! Don't run away on me. Okay, we got two Shadowless cards that I can remember seeing. Anyways, we got a Sandshrew and a Charmander who's been through some, who's seen some better days. We also got a ton, 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 ton of well-used Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is always neat to see, but we're not going to go through those. And we did get two Hollows. One looks like it has been through the wash. It is being, it is being separated Oh my goodness, I could peel this thing apart, guys. You can see the layers. Ah, it's the inside of a Pokemon card. Avert your eyes, guys, avert your eyes. But that's our Hitmonchan Hollow that has been taped and glued and just poorly treated. We also got this, this one awesome Zapdos holographic card with the set so that is all for this we had some really cool cards we had some fun with the energies hopefully you guys guessed it right i know i didn't technically guess it right but anyways i hope you enjoyed this guys i do have more videos coming we've got more thrift store cards sadly no more base set but you never know what you find in them keep having fun guys and i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye